Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an Acer Aspire 3. This is the A315-23 series computer. I'm gonna show you how to get inside, access your memory, in case you need to replace your RAM or upgrade your RAM. I'll also shout out the RAM specs to help you looking for a replacement if you're looking for that on your own. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then gonna flip it over to access our bottom case screws. We're gonna take off all the screws on our bottom case. You have these three along this edge, these three along the opposite edge, these two here, these two here, and that one screw there. We're gonna take all those screws out. As a side point, guys, this right here is your battery reset pinhole. What you would do is you would press that with a paper clip or other sharp, small object. It would reset your battery. You'd let it sit for 30 seconds off, uh, and that can help if you're having trouble starting your computer or charging your battery. After the screws have been removed, I'm gonna take my small flat pry tool. I'm gonna to go around the seam and pry up the bottom case from the rest of the computer. If you guys are watching me get in here, you'll notice this is actually very difficult for me to take off. I was concerned for a little while there that there was more screws, but there's not. I had to get my uh, larger pry tool out and I've really got to get it under there and then really crank it sideways to get this bottom case off. It does come off. You don't need to take out more screws, but it was kind of a pain in the butt. Once you have your bottom case off, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now, before I touch anything in a computer, I either remove or at least unplug the battery. So I'll show you how to do that now. Your battery is right here. So this battery is really easy to operate. As you can see, there's no additional screws in here. It's just plugged into the motherboard. So I'm gonna peel back this tape that's holding it to some inside components there. Just peel that back. There's some more black tape here that's over the actual battery plug, be careful. But I'm gonna peel that back. Or actually, I'll just remove it. I'll just make sure to remember to put it back on after. And this battery plug is kinda of nice because I don't have to pull on the wires. It's got a grip on either side. So I can use my pry tool or your fingernails and push on this side, push on this side, and that battery plug comes right out. So that's fairly easy to get that battery out. Now when you have a computer project, it's best to keep the area safe. As you notice, my computer is sitting on an anti-static mat. Either that or an anti-static bracelet are great ideas to avoid damaging things in your computer. If you need any help with tools or supplies for your project, there'll be a link above, also below in the description. It'll have a lot of the tools and supplies that I would use on this computer, as well as all the replacement and upgrade parts for this specific model, they'll all be included in that link. Now that the battery has been removed or at least unplugged, it's safe to proceed deeper into the computer. The RAM is right here. You have a single port for your RAM. The way that RAM works is there's two metal spring-loaded arms on either side. You pry those apart away from the RAM stick and the RAM stick will release. Uh, oftentimes it'll pop up by itself, but then you can slide it out of the port like that. And to put the RAM back in, you'll notice there's a long end and a short end, so you can only get this RAM stick in one way. You can't put it in upside down. You put the RAM stick back in, make sure it's flush, make sure the gold is nice and straight. You snap that back in by pressing it down and it secures in place. Now the RAM, this was DDR4 RAM, and there was an eight gigabyte stick, so I looked at what kind of upgrades you can do with this RAM, but you can't really do that much. There's four gigabytes of RAM in the motherboard, and then eight gigabytes here, making a total of 12 gigabytes, but unfortunately 12 is the max for this computer, so there's no point upgrading your RAM. If you guys are looking for a replacement RAM stick, if that one goes bad, I'll have some replacement RAM options, eight gigabytes in that link below in the description. If you have any questions on this video, check out the FAQs in the description first. It could save you some time getting an answer, but if you need to leave me a question or comment, I do try to get to those at least a couple times a day. Please remember to like and share if this video was helpful, if you think it can help someone else, and feel free to subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer tutorials. Thank you so much for watching guys, look forward to seeing you on my next video.